ladies and gentlemen, tonight, Barsi Atira is hosting new Baya Z. Let me introduce you to the lines at ease. New Baya Z. Number one, Hamlet Muradian. Number three, Christian Carmichael. Number five, Nick Velasquez. Number seven, the captain of the team, Paul Abkelejan. Number 11, Devin Smith. Number 12, Mokhtar Batanya. Number 22, Xavier Fletcher. Number 23, Eddie Batanya. Number 24, Charlie Daniels. Number 33, Gore Persica. Number 34, Mikael Agopian. And number 77, Constantin Radiona. And now, Parsi Atirao. Number four, Eric McGill. Number eight, the captain of the team, Vladimir Ivana. Number 11, Megra Beksha Murata. Number 13, Rakha Taukin. Number 18, David Ditenko. Number 23, Devin Gilmore. Number 33, Rustam Mutagen. Number 34, Mahapet Kazimo. Number 35, Marat Adil Khan. Number 55, Bogdan Ramchenyuk. Number 77, Ramazan Samsi. And number 95, Timur Tangier. The head coach of the team is Nikitan Gyokchan. The game will be officiated by the blue chief Stanislav Valle, Vampire Sanat 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 Sanat
And so we are back in the Caucasus Basketball League tonight. New Bazet matching up against Barcy Azirao. This is their fourth game. What a start for Barcy. A alley of throwdown for Devin Gilmore after David Didango's pass. While Barcy start with Devin Gilmore, Bogdan Rapchenyuk, David Didenko, Rustam Utigen, and Ramazan Samsin. And in their tour in uh, here in Yerevan, Armenia, they are not looking the best, to be honest, as Valam makes the three. As this is their fourth game now. They've lost uh, two out of the three games they've played, only won the first one. And yesterday they lost um, against the BCDC. So coming off a loss, they really need to win now. And there's a great defense by Devin Smith. You all know what Devin Smith always likes to do. Plays great defense, is a very active player. And so now, Bayazet start with Devin Smith, Xavier Fletcher, Valant Kerejan, Nick Velasquez, and Charlie Daniels. What a fake by Xavier, but he misses an easy layup. So Utigen comes with a defensive rebound, goes all the way, and a foul is called. Oh, I even thought it is an offensive call on Rustam. As if we see the replay, you'll see that he opens his hand uh, right before the shot. Let's see. Yep. Obviously, he opened his hand. I don't know why the defensive foul was called, but it's too early to speak about the calls. Let's just concentrate on the game. This is the first foul of the game by any of the teams as Utegen misses the first free throw to the right. And his second one is good, so splits the pair and ties the game on three. While Devin Smith, uh, not the last game, before that one, scored 30 plus, was unstoppable, single handedly got a win for the team. Um, and I really hope he continues to play the same. Well, a weird shot by Xavier Fletcher um, lost his uh, control of the body. So now Gilmore is in the paint. As Ramazan couldn't catch it, the ball goes out of bounds. Turnover for Barsi. Smith. Passes to Nick. And now Valant will get the pass, but not actually a dangerous one for Barsi. And he goes all the way. Great block shot by Bogdan. And that is a shot clock violation by New Bazet and Nick Velasquez is getting some explanations by uh, the uh, referee Valeev. Seems like they understood each other. Rapchenyuk. All the way. Great drive, great make. And uh, the help side defense at this uh, situation, it was Xavier Fletcher. He was on time, it was not late, but you cannot just try to steal the ball. You have to come in front, Devin! Starting with a ferocious throwdown. There you go, first points for Smith. Fedenko leaves the ball to Rustam, who goes on Velasquez, and no, not a foul actually. There's a traveling call on Ut again. While now the referee warns Devin Smith that after each possession, you cannot talk to your opponent. Believe me, Stanislav, Devin is a very nice guy. He likes to talk. I'm not going to say no to that, but he's a nice guy. Nick, turnover, not a good pass. Bogdan comes with a steal. And look at that, another alley pass to Gilmore. Right when Bogdan stole the ball, he saw Gilmore there. Running the floor, he knew that he was going to pass. Look at his eyes. Got the ball near the half court and uh, decided that he was going to throw an alley. And Xavier Fletcher actually didn't want that to happen and committed for a foul, which leads Gilmore 
making the first one. And now New Bazet has two personal fouls, two team fouls actually in the first quarter. Gilmore got the pair. Velasquez. Charlie. Now Valam's gonna take it. Good ball movement. Nick is open. No good doing the warm up. I was looking at Velasquez's shots. Pretty much made all the threes. But when it's game time, but when everything's active and there's defense in front of you, obviously it's really different. And I'm sure most of you all saw, uh, saw that uh, a lot of people on TikTok actually do some uh, shooting lives and everything. They just stand up in front of that machine. I don't. Uh, I have no clue how that is called. When you shoot the ball, the net catches it, and I pass it back to you. So a lot of guys do that challenge, and you can see most of them making, I don't know, 50, 60 three-pointers in a row. Well, of course, it's not easy. It is hard to do. But when you put them in game, they will not be able to make that much. As, uh, as I already said, you don't have defense in front of you. Uh, you're not tired. You're just standing. Your feet are set all the times. And that's it. So Gilmore got an offensive board after his own miss. Tried to make it. No good. Rebound Valant. And he throws the ball out of bounds. Another turnover for Nuba that obviously the head coach is very upset with the way uh, Valant passed the ball. And now after the sweep to out of bounds by Xavier Fletcher, Nuba Azed is getting 12 seconds of shot clock possession. Ut again. No good. Air ball. Nick. Or saying this for two, three games now by Nick Velasquez. Anybody who watched the league last year knows that Nick is a great shooter and he has a very good ability to find an open spot and shoot. But he was not doing that in the last two, three games. So I really want him to um, return his uh, previous form. The ball was stripped from behind by, for Devin. But he got the ball, and now Charlie Daniels inside, hop steps to the other side, and from the left makes another two points for Bayazet. So I'm seeing, and what is this going on, Nick? Yes, Velasquez commits for one on Bogdan's cut. Two high flyers against each other in this battle. Devin is the winner. As Gilmore, oh, I'm sorry, both of them are Devons. Devin Smith was the winner. And now Valant tosses up one high, knowing that Gilmore is behind. And if he just made an easy layup, it would have been an easy block for Gilmore. So Samsin makes a layup after a great pass from Bogdan. Rabchenyuk with another assist. And this young man. The periphery vision is outstanding in this guy. Doesn't look on him, anybody, always knows where everybody is. And now Smith goes all the way. Another weird semi hook shot for him will not go with left hand. Once again, after getting the board, passes to the opponent's half court. Something is open on three. Bang! Four-point lead for Barsi, the biggest one yet. Fletcher. Charlie is with a mismatch, and look at that, not a good pass. Didenko with a steal. Bogdan now, will shoot. Very short shot. Didenko in the corner. This big guy likes to shoot, you know that. And he did, missed it to the left. Ball picked up by Nick. He goes to the corner to Varat, who's open. No good. Fletcher saves the ball. Gets applauded by his teammates. And now the Euro step of Devin Smith works. While well, he gets another two points 
And Devin is the leading scorer with five points scored for now. Gilmore. Stidenko won't try this. And Charlie's high up on him. Just a second there, so that's it. Shot clock violation. So three men sub will happen in Barsi with Didenko, Rustam and Ramazan going to the bench for the first time. Three players check in. The captain Vladimir, uh, Mahambet Kazimov and Marat Adil Khan. And Ivanov is not the strongest big guy for the league, but he's got so many shots in his arsenal under the basket and Charlie takes the board. Not an end one. Too bad. Would have been a top 10 play as well. Zemir passes to Carmichael who checked in. Great pass from Christian to Fletcher. Xavier couldn't finish, although he got two free throw opportunities. While this is uh, finally a game for Dvaran Kelejan, uh, the captain of New Bazet, when he kind of has, uh, I mean, not he, the team has an Armenian player on the side who is ready to check in at a time and deliver the same high level basketball as Dvaran does. I'm talking about Makhob Tarvartanyan, who is on the bench and he was not playing. Uh, I mean, he started with them, played a couple of games, and then I won't say the problems. Ask Bayazet's media, who's interested in that. He was not playing, and now he is back for the first time after not playing three, four games with them. And my guess is that the head coach, Sarkis, will give him some time on the floor. Devin drives all the way. What a shot, Devin Smith! And you made it, but you need to run back. Great defense, Charlie. Saves Devin Smith for not running back on time. And after he made the shot, he fell on the floor. And he was just complaining, maybe to himself, not only to the referees, while Vladimir took the ball. Uh, went for a mid-range shot. No good. Carmichael gets it back from Xavier. Great cut. Great pass, but a great block shot by Vladimir as well. Bogdan. Skips it to Gilmore, and it drives all the way, makes a two. And you can already see that most of the points of Barsi are made on transition. So Bazet really needs to run back faster as Varan spins and makes another two. Gilmore. Drives all the way. One more great drive by Devin Gilmore. I don't know what's happening with Bayazet. They have a big problem. And, it was, and it, the problem's name is Devin Gilmore. Charlie. Xavier has Christian in the corner. Long shot. And Daniels commits four foul. So Devin Gilmore passes Devin Smith in uh, the scoring leaders run, he's got eight points. While Utegen is back replacing um, Bogdan. Well, and Velasquez too on Bayadzet side. He's on the floor. Fletcher out. Ustam. And yes, it is an offensive foul called on Vladimir Ivanov for an illegal screen. And uh, both of the teams have bonuses for uh, the remaining 52 seconds. Smith. Varant has it. Carmichael still waits in the corner. Great cut by Charlie. Didn't get the pass. And now Devin Smith slips, falls to the ground. Ball is stolen by Barcy. And there you go. 
Another outlet pass, another transition offense for Barsi and Mahamed Kazima forces the defense to foul and sends him to the line. And Avalant commits for his second foul. Well, if you remember, the starting foul of the game was his as well. And he was not a obvious one. He was one of those soft ones that I do really unlike. Um, I mean, this one as well. He was not as hard. He was not as aggressive as most of the other games. And even this game's fouls. Sonic is going to waste as much time from the clock as possible. There's a fourth second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. He gets the ball back from Charlie. Christian is open. Two on the clock. Devin for a three. His shot was short. Rustam has got time. And he was so close, but that's it with a one point lead. For Barcy Atira, we are going into the second quarter. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. So we're back to the second quarter. And as I said, Barsi still leading with a point. Devin goes for a mid-range shot. No good. Smith scored seven points in uh, the first quarter. Eight scored by Gilmore. Marat with the ball. Goes all the way. Great job. And Charlie Daniels thought that Marat was going to pass it to uh, the big guy Vladimir. That's why he was not on the help side. I mean, he was on the help side, but he was not trying uh, to block the shot. He was just trying to steal the pass. And the ball is stolen from Nick Velasquez. But the try of Devin Gilmore to get the possession was unlucky. Went out of bounds. But there is nine seconds on the clock for Bayazet's possession. So you need to react fast. Devin is the ball card, Michael. Barant passes the half court all the way, drives. Great pass to Charlie, who misses. And not a good pass to Carmichael in traffic, surrounded by three people. That is not the way to pass. Marat 
Great pass to Gilmore, even greater spin. And another two for Devin, who's got 10, first player with double digits tonight. Now Devin spins, no good, and the ball goes out of bounds after touching Charlie Daniels. Another sub, Charlie will go to the bench. And yet this is a, a small ball lineup for New Bayazet. And so Xavier Fletcher actually will be on, the, on Vladimir. Look at that. It is an easy mismatch for him, although the pass wasn't uh, uh, good in quality. So the ball was stolen by Xavier and Varand. Carmichael from his favorite spot makes a mid-range shot. Great shot by Christian. So Utz again, guarded by Nick Velasquez. Gets a ball screen from Vladimir. All the way, skip pass to Marat. No good, and no, a foul is called, which is on floor. Not a shooting foul, indeed. what they called another foul on Nick Velasquez off ball that's his second and both of them were not on the ball Gilmore Rustam has it spins on Velasquez stolen and it is a Personal foul, not an unsportsmanlike. Yes, no intention to play ball. But this is the situation where Rustam Mutz again couldn't just disappear, be invisible. Um, yeah, look at that. He was just standing there. Xavier started to drive, uh, started to move fast, and that's just an automatic call. Xavier gets the ball in the paint. Carmichael's with it, again, from his favorite spot, in and out. All goes to Vlad. Good defense, Gil uh, Smith, better offense, Gilmore. Foul called on Devin. That's his first, and in just two and a half minutes, not even two and a half, two minutes and 18 seconds to be more exact, Baez had a three-team fouls. Gilmore, the battle of Devins. He's in the post. The ball goes to the other corner. Marat has it. Vlad goes on Xavier. No good. Rebound and put back Gilmore. And now Smith needs to uh, pay more attention to Gilmore each time uh, Barcy is at the offensive side. They need to box out on him every time. Rostam all the way. Yes, it is a foul. And the head coach of uh, a bias that oh no he called for a timeout but now he refuses to take it no 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 the referee didn't see that no as I was saying the head coach didn't want the timeout and as it seems like he wanted that if Barcy got points uh, but it was just a foul, leaving Rustam Utz again on the line. And with a five-point lead, there's seven minutes and 11 seconds on the clock for the second quarter. Bayazet with very early four fouls, so for the remaining time, bonus uh, will be going on for Barcy. And now Charlie Daniels is there, the commissioner's table, ready to check in the game. After getting a rest. Of course, team needs him in uh, their, under their own uh, basket, in their own half court. They've got some problems with rebounds as in the offensive rebounds, uh, a bias that is out rebounded by Barcy. And a lot of scores, a lot of points have been scored by Barcy after the offensive boards. Carmichael trapped once again, a great defense. Boom, Vladimir smashes a fast break dunk. And now the new Bayazet's head coach has to take a timeout. We'll be back in a minute.
timeout is over. Let's see what uh, Bazet has changed in their game. While the, both of the referees at the same time call a foul on Rusta Mutz again. That's his second. And don't forget, um, Xavier Fletcher has got three personal fouls. And he is on the bench. Of course, the head coach will keep him for more important times. And yet another foul is called. This one again, I think, will go to Rustam. And Nick is on the floor, but he's smiling with joy of Rustam getting his third personal foul. Well, finally, a player found a way to uh, pass the trap defense after the screen from Barcy. Devin all the way, another drive, another great defense by Devin Gilmore. Idenko, you see to Bogdan. Good skip pass to Denko. Now that is his spot. Maybe from the corner he'll miss a couple, but from here he is great. Last guess. Drives left. Goes on the Denko and his shot is lucky. The ball rolls in. So rolling on the rim. And at this time, Barcy has a 10 point lead. We started close. Uh, I'm talking about the score, of course. But now Atirao is getting a big lead. Denko with a mismatch on Velasquez. Spins and makes the fadeaway shot. Velasquez. Ball goes to the other corner to Varant. Drives. Great ball movement. Nick open. Missed short. All of the fans of Bayaz are obviously right now very unhappy with all of the misses of the team. Denko, long three. No good. Smith rebound. And Gilmore is playing great defense tonight, stopping Devin Smith every time. Nick, come on, make this. Yes, finally. Made three by Nick Velasquez, cuts the lead down to nine. This was his first uh, good attempt from three tries. Vlad. Another mismatch, another bad pass by Barcy. And if you remember, uh, when Charlie Daniels in the beginning of the game subbed out and Xavier Fletcher replaced him, um, it was... The situation was kind of like this with Vladimir having a mismatch, but the pass was bad to him just as one as he gave seconds ago as Devin Smith falls to the ground. And now Gilmore is on the other way, stolen by Velasquez. Varant will toss it up. And not a good pass by Kelejan. But Bogdan tried to play smart. What a hustle. And. A jump ball is called with the help of the arrow. The ball will be rewarded to Barsi. Bogdan out. Meiran Bek Shamuratavin, the youngster of Barsi, played great ball yesterday. Made a couple of uh, important shots. They've lost, but he played a very high level basketball. Shot is up, but no. Uh, Mahambet misses, and now Carmichael is on the other way. Great shot, no good. Charlie rebounds. Goes on to Denko. Good defense. And now finally Carmichael makes it. After two offensive boards, of course they were going to make it. And now the head coach of Barcy has to call a timeout. We will be back in a minute.
her say I'm dancing. I don't take a shot. She gon' throw a tantrum. And shots on the And shots on my dick. Money can't I don't want to do it. Me go plug out here. He a play with me. Slaughter gang on me. Boy, a gang on me. Me and my chopper got beat. And his boy is still in the shit. Who ain't gonna be in the middle of the bitch? We gon' come around and get in the middle. Most of these rappers are the bitch. So after the leap, cutting down to seven points, we are back. After Barsi's timeout, Rodenko will go to Meramek. He will get a ball screen from Vladimir. There's a switch. And of course, Vlad is going to get an easy layup. And actually, the ball slipped out of his hands. But he was lucky enough, he went in. He even even looked at. He was not trying to do that. He was trying to dunk it, believe me. Smith goes to the other side again. Great defense, Gilmore. Tangiev. Shamuratov has the Denko on the other side. The ball finally goes to him. He's with a mismatch on Carmichael. No good rebound goes to him. Another try, and yet now he is fouled by. By Az by Christian Carmichael himself, and it doesn't even matter if they have a bonus because this was a shooting foul. And obviously Dinenko is going to the line, and now David has an opportunity to again uh, improve the lead to double digits with Xavier Fletcher with a really interesting sub for me. He's got three personal fouls. Don't forget about that. Replaces Devin Smith. Yeah, uh, this is actually smart. Um, Smith is struggling as Gilmore is playing great defense on him, stops him on every possession. Um, that's why I'm sure the head coach Sarkis um, leaves Devin Smith on the bench to get some rest, uh, not only physically, but mentally as well. And then maybe after that, when he comes back, he'll be able to play better. 11 point lead, 2.22 to go for the first half. Delejan, great defense. Shamuratov steals the ball. Anodidenko, knowing that Xavier Fletcher has got three fouls, was trying to get the ball in front of him, but now he turns on Nick Velasquez, makes another two. Didenko is playing unstoppable ball tonight, scoring nine points. And Anik is fouled. That is fourth for Barsi. Ramazat Samsin is in. Vladimir will go out. Did his job. Uh, nothing more was needed from him. The set play is still working. It's still going. Nick will shoot a long three. Missed it short. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's still in the Barsi's possession. A minute and a half left. Both of the teams with four fouls. Samsin drives and one. And now the head coach and the assistant coach, uh, Fabiazet are trying to figure out what else they can do to save this game as judging by the first half this is going to be an easy win for Barsi. I don't want to I don't want to see that. I want a better game. I want Bayazet to come back in the second half, get the score closer and give us a better game. Carmichael, it's a mid range shot. And now a set is going for Barsi. Mirabek was open for a second. The lefty three-pointer uh, didn't go up. And now I think something traveled, but nothing was called. And he spins on uh, Charlie Daniels. Makes a hook, hook shot. 
returns the 15 point lead. Laurent waits for Nick. Velasquez drives. One more drive, one more foul. And uh, I will try to check uh, the stats of the game to see how many fouls were being committed not uh, by but on Nick Velasquez. I think it was plenty there. And maybe, just maybe, this can be the uh, the potential way of getting a win against Barcy for Bazet. Maybe they just need to drive and force the opponents to foul on each of them. 31 seconds on the clock after um, Barcy's attack, maybe. Baez that will get another opportunity with both of the teams still having a timeout to go. Miran back drives and uh, steps on the sideline. I think now the head coach of Baez that can call a timeout if he has it. Yeah, I think he has. Scoreboard actually shows that. I don't know why he didn't to paint. Uh, to draw uh, set play for the last possession. I'm sure he will if they get uh, possession from the sideline or the baseline, but no, they won't, says Nick Velasquez. Missed a shot. Didenko will shoot a long three. No good, and this is it. With a 13-point lead by Barcia Tirao, we will go to the third quarter, and we'll be back after 15 minutes of the halftime break. Yeah, we love
So we are back in the second half with Bayazet having a lead of 13 points. And Abarsi gets a steal in the first possession. Rustam is with the ball, leaves it back to Meirambek. Once again, we'll get a screen from Samsin. Now Denko is on three. Missed it short, Charlie with a high flying rebound. Now this is what Bayazet really needs Charlie to do. He needs to clear all the boards. And as I was saying, starting from the first second of the game, they have got a lot of problems uh, on their own defensive rebounds. Smith drives, blocked by Gilmore. Devin Smith cannot do anything tonight. Gilmore is just stopping him every time. Devin now has it. Will shoot a three. Bang! Now that's what he can do. Cuts it down to 10. Devin has scored 10 points. Gilmore with 12. Charlie is now on Gilmore. Then go. Goes on Daniels, a high flying shot, no good. Smith with a board. And now Devin himself loses the possession. Xavier saved it, and that's it. Turnover for Barsi. Steals the ball. Bazet starts running. Fletcher will go all the way. And another missed layup. To then go again. His favorite spot. Won't shoot. Goes on Xavier. And now a fadeaway shot is up. But no good. Charlie with a board. So after the three pointer scored by Devin Smith, none of the teams have scored yet. While Nick Velasquez now goes all the way, he makes a lane. The lead is down to single digits. That's what you like to see when you're a Bayazet fan. Ramazan hands it to Rustam. He missed. Velasquez will drive again. Stops. Resets the possession. Smith is with Ut again. And look at that. A traveling called on Devin Smith. Well, he was jabbing. Ut again. Moves it to Ramazan. Goes right back to him. Screen goes all the way. Made on back. Open on three. The lefty finally takes one. No good. Fletcher saves the situation. Now Smith drives once again. 
And once again, couldn't get a shot off with the presence of Gilmore. And now Charlie will get to a 7-0 run for Bayazet. Of course, Barsi has to call a timeout. We'll be back in a minute. Look. Back out to the timeout with a six point lead for Ati Rao. As I was wishing, Bayazet has came strong to the second half with Devenko. Not shooting, but he will get a pass out to the cut. And I thought that the ball touched Devenko's knee after going out of bounds, but it seems like he didn't. And it's 3.4 three seconds on the clock. Gilmore. Great defense once again, but again. And again, the ball is rewarded to uh, Barsi with 0 0.5 seconds on the clock. The Denko shoots. Won't make it, but the board went to Gilmore. They saved the ball. Not a good pass from the Denko. They still keep the ball alive. Rustam. Another miss, another board, another miss. And finally, Bayazet could take the ball. Velasquez. An unnecessary dribble. And the ball is out of bounds. While Xavier Fletcher seems like has an injury. But no, he will still stay in the game. Bogdan. Zdenko has it. We'll leave it to Gilmore. Gilmore was close to falling. Saved the situation, but didn't save the ball. As it is a turnover. And Velasquez is no good from uh, the three. Baran fouled. Nothing was called. And the ball is going to Dedenko in the end, who makes the shot. Now Bayazet has numbers. They need to rush. And now Didenko commits for a foul against Valant Kelejan. That is David's first personal foul. Fletcher from three. In and out. It's going to be such an important shot. And Fletcher played a great defense. What a block by Charlie on Gilmore. It's gonna dunk. Once again, Valant left him a lot of space to go right while Didenko misses another board. And yet again, after giving up an offensive rebound, Eventually, Barsi is going to score. And uh, finally, the player that I've been talking about, Mako, Mkhitar Vartanyan, will come on the floor for Bazet. 
And now Rustam is called for a kick violation. The shot clock will be reset to 14. Finally, Varant will get some rest on the bench as well as uh, Xavier Fletcher. And Varant right away runs to the physicist. Something happened to his hand, nothing major. Velasquez, Charlie's open, won't even look at the basket. And Macho drives for the first try. Carmichael missed the mid-range. With a height advantage, Vlad obviously took the rebound in the presence of Vartanian. David. Boom! Great pass from Didenko. And Gilmore rocks the rim right back to a 12-point lead. Vartanian is in his favorite spot. Misses the mid-range. And now three players surrounded Vlad, couldn't get the steal, and the pass finally was good to him. This pass, the over-the-defense pass, was not working for Barcy at all yet, and he finally did. And now Devin Smith tried to leave the ball to Charlie, not a good pass. It was too hard, and he went out of bounds. So 14 points, Gilmore, 13 to Denko. Those two men are playing amazing basketball tonight. Great pass, but this one, the layup was missed by uh, the big guy Vlad. Velasquez has got space and one. Finally something for Nick and for Bazet. Nick is the second player with double digits. He's got 11. And yet I was saying that uh, Gilmore was stopping Devin Smith the whole game. But when you look at the scoreboard, you'll see that uh, Gilmore actually has only four points more than Devin Smith. So 14 for Gilmore and 10 for Smith. Velasquez gets three points in a single possession the hard way. Vlad is on the three point line. Marat is back on the floor. Will pass to Bogdan and now again Vlad is going for a ball screen. Bogdan open. No good, and yet again, Vladimir for another rebound. Bayazet really needs to do something with their rebounds. They do. So Devin Smith goes to the other side. Uh, ball didn't even touch the rim. Zdenko, open. No good, finally, Charlie could take a board. And now, uh, Charlie Daniels, after doing something good, did something bad as well. So timeout called by Bayazet. We'll be back in a minute.
So we're back after the bias this timeout. Oh, 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 what a look at that. Marat fell to the ground. A hard foul. It was not a high hard foul, actually. He just lost his coordination in the air and he's still lying on the floor. So the team's physicist runs uh, to Marat. Didn't look pretty. And it's getting treatment by two physicists now. thinks this has to be an unsportsmanlike foul and two of his teammates are taking him in out of uh, the uh, inbounds so Yamarat yeah, will still get treatment on the bench um, he's even standing there so I don't think it is a serious injury hope everything's fine though I just really hope everything's fine. Um, we'll see after the game. So, yeah, uh, of course, there's a sub. And number 34, Mahamed Kazimov, checks in. And as I was saying, before that injury, um, the timeouts have been working out great for both of the teams, starting from the first minute. And now I really hope that it works out for Bazar as well as Bogdan blows an open layup. Velasquez is guarded by Bogdan. Great defense. What an aggressive defense Bogdan is playing. And finally, in the end, uh, near his own three point line, a foul has been called, which is the 13th foul for Barsi in the third quarter. Velasquez. Christian will shoot. Air ball. While Makhov is on Rustam. Finally, a player from Vaza who plays aggressive defense. Great pass. No good. Rustam for a board. And he did a couple of steps, nothing was called. Uh, I missed the layup. Smith, what a move! Yeah, no. Three ball goes left. Once again, Gilmore has space. Won't shoot. Ball is saved by Daniels. Now, this is not the type of basketball that will save. Bayazet, they need to play faster. Every time they get the ball, they just leave it to a uh, point guard or a player uh, who is the point guard for that time. And eight second violation called on Rustamut again. has the ball. Bazet can just wait for uh, the time to run down more, which they do. Carmichael has it. Not a good pass. Rustam got the steal. And yes, a great alley -oop pass. A second on the clock. And that's it. Levin couldn't make it, 53-38, big lead for Barsi. We're going into the fourth quarter. We'll be back in a couple of...
Ball is back for the last 10 minutes of the Bayazet and the Barsi matchup. Bayazet in three quarters has scored only 38 points. Yes, I'm not lying. 38 points. This is the most low scoring game for them. And I even think not only for them, but for the whole competition. As the ball is Going out of bounds after touching Smith's knee, who's got 10 points. Gilmore now with 16. Bogdan. Rustam waits for Meran back. Another ball goes for Bogdan right back. Screen from the big guy. Rapchenyuk for a three. No good. Another offensive rebound for Atirao. Again, it's got space, no good. Rebounds a lot. And now, finally, I'm gonna say it every time, I guess. Whenever a Bias players clear their own board, I have to say the word finally. And now, Nick Velasquez is lucky enough from three. A couple of bounces, the ball goes in. Drop Chenyuk. It was a good pass, but uh, Vlad didn't wait for that. 41. Nick is with it. Waits for Davin to get the ball. Screen for Nick by Fletcher. Nick, step back three. Miss to the left. If this only went in, if only it did. Once again, Charlie was close to stealing, but Xavier actually steals. And once again, Barsi get the steal. Another flush by the big guy, Vlad. Fletcher. Smith has it, will go up, but the ball won't go in. And two players from the same team, Gilmore and Vlad, didn't see each other. So they've sent the ball out of bounds. Another possession for Piazza, uh, and now Devin falls to the floor. It was not a foul, it was just a hard fall while Varan gets the steal. Goes the opposite side, another turnover. What is going on? <laughs> this is getting funny. On both of the sides, all around the floor, players on the floor. Great pass to Vlad, but he traveled this time.
Fletcher and Rustam was playing smart once again, was trying to steal the ball from behind. Another turnover. Gilmore! And one for Lush. The play number 33 is ready to take off. Look at that replay. My goodness. And of course he has to smile after that. He's got the three points and a 17 point lead. Trust me, if Bayazet starts to play the way they have always been playing, this can be comeback. But if they play like this, nothing's gonna happen. And right after that top 10 moment, top one moment actually, Gilmore goes to the bench. So I think finally now, Devin Smith, We'll have some free for, uh, independence, let's just say the word. Once again, ball stolen by Xavier. He will go all the way. Made the lay in. Here's Tom. Tangiev has it. Goes all the way, no good. Charlie rebound. And yet, right now, it is time for Devin Smith to go to work. Great pass to cutting Charlie. And he will get two shots. So only the first foul in the fourth quarter for Barcy. Both of the teams actually with one. And yet the replay showed us that uh, it was not hard, uh, no intention to just foul. Both of the players were trying to play the defense or go up for a block. That's the yours. Two players from Bayazet with uh, three personal fouls in Xavier Fletcher and Nick Velasquez, two in Barsi as well. And Bogdan Rabchenyuk and Rustam Uts again. So Charlie is perfect from the line, makes both of those. Bogdan comes on the other side. Ramazan is on three. He won't shoot. So Charlie really needs to be uh, more interested in uh, drives of the other players. Macho is on Uts again. Great defense. And finally Rustam gets a shot and makes it. Drives. Look at that! Now that is a dunk! Now that is the top one! And now play number 11 is ready! Woo! Well, there's another two easy points after that great flush. Devin was too frustrated. He needed that. Now I hope he will start playing better. No! Now Nick Velasquez turns the ball over. Ball is taken from behind from Rustam Ut again. Velasquez for a three. Missed it short. Ut again. Will shoot a three. Short miss, another offensive board. Once again, will miss once again. And Bogdan played really smart there, stopped the transition, but actually this is Bogdan's fifth pers uh, fourth personal foul. He will obviously go to the bench, and uh, that's it. That's it for Devin Smith. Devin Gilmore is back. Meidan Beck is on the floor as well. 
Kelejan, after coming off the bench, makes the three right away, cuts the lead down to 12. Fires at Steele, he's got time. Not a good pass. Turnover for uh, Barsi. And uh, I, 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 I was meaning to say that uh, Barsi is playing great defense, not because they are great defensive players on one-on-one, -on -one, but great shot, block shot actually by Samzin on Nick. But no, they are playing a great team defense. A heads up to uh, the head coach Tigra for that. After each screen, Two players are going on the player who's got the ball. Varant, another try. This one won't go. Charlie takes the board. Devin is open. He will shoot a mid-range shot. This one is good. It is down to 10. Eran Beck is going on Nick. And look at the energy in the gym. I hope. Anybody who watches in uh, at home wants to come here right now because you do really need it. Three seconds on the clock. Great defense. Bull is out of bounds after touching Meirambek's knee. And if Bars and if Bayazet uh, manages to score, Parsi will need a timeout. Barant goes on Meirambek. Nick open. That's the timeout I was talking about. The lead is down to seven points. We will be back in a minute. Timeout is over for Barsi. Gilmore with the ball. Leaves it to Bogdan, who has four fouls. Don't forget about that. Teldenko. Missed it. Rebound, Vlad. Teldenko won't shoot this one, but Vlad is in the paint. In the post against Daniels. Great defense. There's not a lot of time on the clock. But it doesn't even matter because the ball is gifted to Bazet with a seven point lead of Barsi. When it was three, when there was three, three minutes left with 12 point lead of Barsi, I said that Bazet still has got time. Fletcher. Baran, great cut. Not a good pass. The ball is stolen. Now they need to run back. The Denko, eh, yes, he lost the control. Velasquez has it, he needs to shoot. And it is no good. But Devin Smith uh, tried to get the rebound, no. No good. David will go to the bench, replaced by Rustam. And yes, Charlie has got the steal. He will go all the way and flush it home. Five 
point lead, minute left. What is this game? Out again. And it right back to Bogdan. And Rustam is open if this goes in. Dagger, that is it. That is game. Out again, just won this game. We'll be back after Baza's timeout. Timeout is over, of course, Baz. That will start from the opponent's half court. Charlie leaves it to Nick. Varant. They need to shoot. They need to shoot fast. There's only four seconds on the clock. Fletcher. No good. Takes his own board, and there's a foul. So 23.5 on the clock. Eight-point lead. And yet, as I said, after Rustam 3, it's over. I don't want it to be over. I want a better ending. But let's be honest, it is. Smith. Great drive. His lefty layup is good. And now they need to press and play aggressive. Woods again has it. Obviously, he's not going to shoot. A foul, but this is only the second uh, foul, a team foul for them. So yeah, nine seconds, it's over. I don't know if Baezad is going to foul or not. Yes, they will. Another a second and a half has gone by, 7.6 on the clock. Four players from Bazet are playing with three fouls. Yes, another one. The second and six gone. And yet again. Now 4.8 left. Um, I'll be honest, I don't actually understand the reason uh, Bayazet is playing the fouling game as with 4.8 seconds, it is just impossible. Physically, there is not enough time to put a seven point lead down. Gilmore. Makes the second as well. Timeout called by New Bazet.
So 4.8 on the clock with uh, an eight point lead of Barcy. We are back. And the pass went to Nick. That's it. Devin Gilmore with um, his 21 points helped the team to get their second win in this tour to Yerevan Armin. A great game between Barca and New Bazet. Not the best for Bazet, though. I hope they will be able to play better ball um, continuously. And that is it. This is the end. This was Albert with you, as always. Love basketball. And he will love you back. Peace.